beautiful people and welcome to my African affairs now in this video I'm very excited about this video because I want to take you guys with me to Lake Nakuru National Park I'm sure you'll enjoy the ride stay put watch this video subscribe if you haven't already and ensure you give it a like Welcome to Lake Nakuru National Park. Mm. This is a protected area. It's located in the Great Rift Valley. Our park was established in the year 1961 as a bird sanctuary area. Later in the year 1968, it was gazetted as a national park. Also, our park has a, a lake. A lake covers 73 square kilometers, and the catchment area covers 18 100 square kilometers. Lake Nakuru National Park is found in the Great Rift Valley and is famous for the vast numbers of flamingos that feed off its algae. The size of the lake varies according to the rainfall and at the moment the lake is flooded and occupies about 73 square kilometers. The trees at Lake Nakuru National Park are not terrestrial and at the moment because of the flooding and rain that is going on, the trees are drying up. <laughs> square kilometers we have different wildlife species of about over 50 well different wildlife species we have 450 different types of bird species and we have more than 400 tree species in our park the, when you come to our lake the activities uh, into our park the activities you may take is like we have the game drive we have the sun down and the sunrises. We have the staycation. We have the camping sites. We have 50 different mammals. Mm -hmm. I love more than 50 species of reptiles. Mm -hmm. I love more than 450 different tree species. Uh -huh. But the dominant tree in is As we started the game drive, the first animals we spotted were the zebras. <laughs> Nakuru National Park supports a wide array of wildlife, including over 400 bird species, over 50 mammal species, and over 50 flora species. 
Park activities in Lake Nakuru National Park include the game drive, sundowner and sunrises, staycation and camping. Here now are the impalas which have a lifespan of between 18 to 38 years. Their gestation period is 6 months. An interesting fact about the impalas is that you can know their age by counting the spiral circles on their horns. Lake Nakuru National Park has the impalas but doesn't host the rare sitatunga. <laughs> have the water bugs which are found in the group of antelopes. They are eco kwa groups are antelopes mm. and most of the time you find along the lake, lake line, lake shore line, along the river they are not eat. Mm. Okay. That's oh. their defensive mechanism. Mm. I love for their skin. Mm. Their skin they are prone to you know, the, Dehydration, so mm. that that's the reason we saw in Akata along the river line. Mm. After they are the best swimmers mm. oh. together with the starting, that we don't have the you don't have sita 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 in Palapa. But we don't have any. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Nakuru National Park has the colobus and the olive monkeys. <laughs> the endangered Rothschild giraffe was introduced into Lake Nakuru National Park. These giraffes were relocated from Western Kenya for their protection. They are also known as the Baringo giraffe. Greens well, they knew mm. their front legs they knew because of their short, short neck and the, their head. Mm. It, it's heavy. Mm. Mm. I love to be considered as the ugliest. <laughs> the one the wildlife, yeah, they are among the ugliest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you know here in Lake Nakuru National Park we have the big five animals? The big five animals being the rhino, lion, buffalo, leopard, and the elephant. But we don't have the elephant in the lake. Nakuru National Park. This is because of the maximum carrying capacity of our park. Here are the white rhinos. In 1987, the park was declared a sanctuary for rhinos. The park has black and white rhinos. The white rhino are mainly found in the grassland area. Both the white and the black rhino have poor eyesight and only see up to about 50 meters, but they counter this with their high sense of smell. <laughs> Have 
the buffaloes that are mainly herbivores, both the male and the female have horns. The males have broader horns as compared to the females. The lone buffaloes are usually the ones sent away from the pack and more often than not they are usually very aggressive. <laughs> Lake Nakuru flamingos are the park's primary source of attraction. There are two types of flamingos in Lake Nakuru National Park. We have the greater flamingos and the lesser flamingos. The greater flamingos are bigger in size and have pink beaks. The grey birds are not flamingos but are the African spoonbill. <laughs> has to come to the park during the early hours of the morning and the leopard only mainly comes out at night. The attraction site we have here in Lake Nakuru, we have the Baboon Cliff, we have the Heart of Africa, the, Makal the Makalia picnic site and the Lion Hill picnic site. <laughs> 